OK, let's start with this one about lunchboxes. I like it. I think it describes the problem well. All those plastic containers polluting our beaches. And what I hadn't thought about was the threat to fish and marine animals through them swallowing the plastic. But he's not talking about all plastic, is he? If you look at the objectives, he only mentions producing biodegradable lunchboxes and saving fish. That's one of the good things about it. He's narrowed his field down to a specific manageable project. More would have been too ambitious, I think. Well, he certainly thought it through. The schedule is realistic and the budget is doable. But I feel he's let himself down in his executive summary. It's very weak and doesn't do justice to the ideas and really fails to inspire. In fact, it's boring. Yes, I have to say I agree. It's a pity because the idea's good. When are these design schools going to start teaching the importance of a good executive summary? They just get tagged on as an afterthought. Anything else we need to say about it? Is it in or out at this stage? Out. Too boring. Mmm. Pity. I like the idea of saving the fish. OK, let's move on to the second one. This is the one about having a festival of street art. That's a nice take on the environment. And I think, is it a man or a woman? A woman, OK. I think she puts the case very strongly. As she points out, there are a lot of boring walls and spaces in Hong Kong that need brightening up. I really like the idea of ads around building sites. They are so boring, they don't even carry advertising. It's painful to have to look at them. Hmm, I don't. Not if I can help it. Her objectives are clear. To brighten up Dao spaces, encourage creativity, and give space for graffiti artists to work. Hmm, mm, the idea is imaginative and fun. The executive summary is well written. I got quite excited and she included a good summary of the whole thing too. Didn't you find a creative strategy a bit vague? I don't really have a clear idea of how she's going to pull it off. She talks about having a competition for designs, but she doesn't say more. Who will it be open to? Will there be a theme? How about involving non-professionals? Very airy fairy. Hmm, so's the schedule. She hasn't given any dates. That kind of shows she hasn't seriously thought it through. Or she wrote the whole thing in a hurry. Same difference. There are still no dates, so we'd have to pin her down on that. What's the verdict? Does she stay in? Definitely in for now. I wouldn't want to turn down the idea, not for the moment. Mm-hmm. OK, here's the third one. I love this one. What a brilliant idea, a statue made out of used plastic bags. And I mean a huge statue made of used plastic bags. And she was very specific about how it would all work. How to make it solid enough to stand up. But I was a bit worried about all that glue. Doesn't that go against the environmental theme? Wouldn't the glue pollute as badly as the plastic bags? I think you can get non-smelly ones. Well, she should say that in the proposal. Let's not be too hard on her at this stage. Presumably she'd be willing to go into all that if she was chosen. I can't believe she won't have thought it through. She could do with putting one or two more objectives. To create an artwork made out of used plastic bags is obviously the immediate objective. But there are surely long-term ones she could have given. Mm, but I just love the idea. A giant plastic bag made out of thousands of plastic bags with the slogan, This is not a plastic bag. Wonderful. Totally irreverent. And sending up consumerism gives it a double edge environmentally. The more we talk about it, the more I like it. It's certainly the most original. I would look forward to seeing some sketches. So, she stays in? Definitely. Mm.